me that it's all my fault It would've been perfect all along It would've been right and not another wrong And it would be a happy, not a sad song Oh, cause it's all Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, basically a different stretch resolution. It's very similar to the video I've done a very like long time ago, and it's pretty similar to that. It's basically where um, it, it, this isn't the same one, but it gives you a similar type of resolution. In um, one of my old videos, it was basically what you had to do is um, go into game and you change your resolution. I think it was 1650 by 1080, I'm pretty sure, which is still um, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, I'm pretty sure. And then um, what that did is you basically did a glitch and you did control F11 and it would glitch your game into like some sort of stretch resolution. It wasn't that it wasn't like that effective, but it was all right. This is um, basically similar to that, but you don't have to do any glitch and it is a little bit better, so you get um, like more horizontal stretch. Um, it does slightly, very, very slightly, like by literally like five, um, by literally like minus five. It slightly decreases your FOV, but um, pros are still using this like right now, like. It's a pretty new thing that's going on. A lot of pros are getting into it, and it gives you um, competitive advantage overall. The FOV is not that bad, like the FOV decrease, so it doesn't really make much difference to your game. And the horizontal like stretch improves your aim a ton, and just gives you that um, the, uh, more of a placebo on playing stretch. Yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this video. Um, a YouTube called Martas also did this. Um, I'm gonna play a little clip right now of him talking about it. He made a full video on this. So the past week I've been playing on this new resolution, 1656 by 1080 and I've basically fallen in love with this resolution. It feels like I'm actually playing stretch again, even though you get a bit less FOV horizontally, I still feel really comfortable on this rest and I just feel like I'm better on this rest. Try the rest out for yourself and see if you like it. Obviously not everyone's gonna like it because of the horizontal FOV cut, but I do. Let me know in the comments if you tried it and if you like the rest or not. For the people wondering how you get this rest, it's but yeah guys as you can see uh he goes through it what the i'm just gonna tell you guys now the resolution is 1656 by 1080 um i'll show you guys how to put it on and then i'll just show you guys in game and how it looks um so yeah how are you gonna put it on it's just like any resolution you'd put on like back back in the day so you go into your little thing here do percent as that percent go on this little folder here uh, when i'm over monitor we're gonna put it here so go back to when you're on this go back to this bit here after that uh, go to local go to fortnite game saved config windows client and then here you want to go to game user settings what you guys want to do is go to properties beforehand so right click it properties make sure read only is um unticked it probably already is for you if you've never played on that like og stretch resolutions before but yeah just press ok and then what you're going to do you're going to open this you guys probably know how to do this so go down um go down on here to this bit here so where it says resolution size x and last user confirmed resolution size x keep um keep these bottom ones here on 1080 and then just change this to 16 56 and then just literally um, do the same right there 1656 by 1080 and 1656 by 1080 so now what you guys want to do is um, just do file save or con you can do control s shortcut just but yeah just um, file save x out of that and then go back here go down right click it press properties go here and where it says attributes just tick this bit here the read only part what ticking that is going to do is basically ensure when you load in the game fortnite it's not going to try and revert it for you back to the native resolution state and it just ensures everything loads up in a full screen manner and um doesn't put you in a windowed full screen which could potentially give you some input lag so yeah guys you want to make sure um read only is ticked what you guys want to do then just press apply right there press ok and now that is half um apply it's so not fully but you've you've done it in the game files now you need to basically change your monitor's resolution to this as well um this is also a temporary as soon as you've done the one change to like to change your monitors like if you go okay so you guys want to do i'm just gonna explain it you guys want to go to nvidia control panel or your amd controller panel go nvidia what you guys want to do you can just go to here and um Get it from your display tray or you can just um, right click your monitor and press this right here if you have amd when you do this it should say amd or you guys just want to search up amd in this bit here and you have something like this amd radio and settings i used to have an um, amd graphics card so that's why i have that but yeah guys what you're going to do here is then go to change resolution and this is where you want to add um, your custom resolution so basically want to add the same one you just made but like the same one you just put into your folder there and just do it here so press customize press create custom resolution it'd be very similar for amd as well and then basically where it says horizontal pixels change that to 1656 keep this on 1080 make sure your refresh rate is on um, your monitor's refresh rate so it should be automatically set to what it is mine's on 144 hertz because i have a 144 hertz monitor and what you guys do want to do you guys want to press test um 
this is pretty calm I record in. You want to press test? And actually, oh, okay, um, I actually already had this, so um, I already, okay, I'm dumb. I already had that one, uh, one of those resolutions set, so I need to look for it. 1656 by 1080. Okay, so what you guys gonna do when you've got it? Just whatever. You just wanna press apply or press test, whatever it says. Do that. And there you go, guys. It is basically set. Um, gave you that that resolution. Two hours later. Alright, guys. In some cases, for some monitors, this won't work, and you have to do 1656 by 800. Or 1656 by 720. Um, it's a different feel. Like if you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, it should work fine. This didn't work on my um primary monitor for some reason, so I need to find out to get it to work. It should have no issue for you, and then your monitor should look like this once it's done. Okay, guys, once it's done like that, um, you're basically ready to go into a game. So what I'm gonna do is launch up Fortnite, and um, I'll get back to you guys when my Fortnite is opened up. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see right here, we are um, over on Fortnite, and you can see that is um, a stretch resolution. If you go here, 1656 by 1080 on a window full screen mode, and that's um, just how my game launches. If you usually launch your game on full screen, it will be on full screen with the same resolution, which is 1656 by 1080. You know guys, as you guys can see, fully works. I can load into Creative right now, and I'll um, show you guys properly that it's all working fine. And it's just basically, um, 1656 resolution stretch resolution like any it would like always be like that just get slightly less fov which really isn't that much of an issue yeah i'll load into create right now i'll show you guys you hey guys so we are actually over on um fun and now just i thought i'd go into my cable to show you guys the resolution and um how it actually how, how it actually looks like when i'm actually on creative but yeah guys um i mean yeah guys it, it's like not bad at all uh i I think it's like um I, I like I, I personally like it. I've been using this all day. Like I've literally, I've literally used this resolution all day. Um I, I put it on this morning and I saw Martos' video because I, I actually did do a video like before Martos quite a while ago where it was like the glitch version. I, I did say that at the start of the video before I like showed the tutorial and how it how it worked. And um yeah I did do a video before Martos on this, which is very, very similar, but um obviously Martos just brought it back I guess and gave it a little bit more exposure so and um People that didn't watch my channel back when I made that video, I thought I made this good video and update you guys. But yeah, you guys can see I've got it on now. Um, in terms of like just playing on the general, things like see what I just did there, where you did the 290s and then you like um, okay, I'm at max height. But when you do like the um, so just say you do 290s and then you go to do this and place like um, a floor on a pyramid, it, it it's more placebo because you don't actually have less time to place it. But it feels because the FOV is less, it feels like you've got less of a time span to like um, actually place uh, both of these. So when you like do the 90, it feels like you've got less time because you have less view on um, like your screen. So this feels like you've got less time to place these and edit through, which can sometimes cause is issues. And like it has for me quite a bit when I've been using this resolution, especially on build fight. So um, I don't know, maybe that can be an issue for some of you, like if you're bad at it anyway. But um, yeah, you've got to remember it's placebo. And that isn't really an issue. But yeah, I mean, that's it. Literally, literally, guys, um, since I've used this today, but it's probably the only issues I, I found with it, and it's that right there. So, um, yeah, th that's the only issue I found with it. Um, one way to stop that and basically get more consistent anyway, or, or at least if you um, mess it up, or you guys, okay, I'm at max height again. What you guys gotta do if you mess it up, just um, if you got this and you know you're gonna, you got like two, sh two, um, short, what you guys gonna do is go to the side, edit like this, reset that, and then just. And uh, just keep doing the same, and, and you basically just uh, cover yourself for what them like messing up, especially in a build fight. That's a great thing to do in terms of resolution in general. It, it's literally um, not that bad at all. But yeah, guys, in, in terms of like the resolution in general, it's it's really not that bad. Like um, I since I've been using it, like I, I've I've generally um, enjoyed this res. And uh, okay, I'm building so bad today. But yeah, since I've been um, using this resolution today, I've actually enjoyed it. Like the ramps, you can clearly see the horizontal stretch. Like, the horizontal stretch is clearly there. You guys, definitely get um, that advantage when it comes to aiming and uh, in your opponents because they're more stretched out. They're, they've got like a larger character model, which um, basically improves your hitbox. I'm, I'm almost certain it does. Apparently, it's placebo or it, like whatever. It's still a good placebo. Like it's placebo in the fact that this feels a lot better. Like um, FPS, I, I don't know if it really increases it that much. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe if a low end PC, this may help a lot more in terms. The FPS, but I tend to get like um, 200 to 300 frames anyway, so um, FPS hasn't really ever been an issue for me. So, like, throughout the day, I haven't really uh, felt the need to have to check my FPS and like worry about that too much, which I probably should have done. But yeah, you guys can see the is clearly stretched like here. I play on window full screen 1656 by 1080. If you guys are using natural like full screen and using that all the time, you can play it on that. I usually launch my game on a um, 
window full screen that's why mine is set to this which can be an issue for myself so yeah i do suggest you guys play this resolution on a full screen so you get less input lag and you get the most out of it so um yeah guys i mean um in terms of this resolution it i think like the the disadvantages is like basically there's no disadvantages the only disadvantage would be that right there doing this edit and if you're bad at it anyway or not very confident with doing that it may like make it a little bit harder because it feels like you've got less time to actually like get the placing on them and um I, yeah, I, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's one of them. Yeah, overall though, the resolution improves your aim. The FOV decreases like 10. So where um, usually a Fortnite FOV is set to 80, um, this would basically just be 70 FOV, which isn't um, that bad. Like, it, it isn't that bad at all. So like, it, it isn't an issue. And that's just, that's my take on it. Maybe you guys feel like this is like, the FOV decrease is maybe too much for you guys and maybe you do not like the resolution because of that. But in my opinion, um, the FOV decrease is not bad at all. And I, it, I don't know, like I've used this resolution all day and I definitely prefer this over native resolution. Um, you guys can uh, go and check out Martos as well and go and check out his content because he is very good content, um, usually content which um, helps you out as a player. Like um, usually like building strats and metas and stuff like that. So yeah, um, he's, he's a great YouTuber you guys can go and watch. If you guys did enjoy this video and um, I go into user's resolution, what you guys can do, you know, support me by dropping a like on the video, subscribe and post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload on my channel. But yeah guys, it's been your way Farfetch, and yeah, peace.